with the spanner. Why is it the more sleep I have, the more tired I feel? What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Living Life Fast. And today we have got another video on the McLaren 720S. Hope you've all been enjoying the videos recently. Went drag racing in it. Smoked quite a lot of cars. Got a man like Dean. You're driving today, bro. We are on a mission. Ricky needs some sleep. I may have put in the title about modifications. I know that some of you clocked this one last time. This is a number plate that I've wanted for such a long time, one LLF. This is not a show plate, people. This is the real deal. Makes such a big difference having just four characters on the plate. I think I probably need to make it smaller. Probably look a bit better tinted as well, because right now the car looks black. Well, from it's your angle, you're probably seeing a different color, aren't you? Yeah, I'm seeing a different color. <laughs> yeah. different from there, is it? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So where are we off to, Dean? Uh, Cambridge. Cambridge car audio. We're going to have a radar installed in this car. So it basically enables you to know where emergency services are. So when you're driving around, you know when you just don't see an ambulance coming towards you or a fire engine coming up from the rear or even like police, CID. This system will now enable me to see where they are. You've got like a little blinking system in the car. Yeah, I think it's a must have modification for the McLaren because this car is ridiculously fast. And uh, yeah, we need one then, right, D? So, um, yeah, there's like a motorway mode, there's a round town mode. We'll have them guys explain it in a bit more detail. But anyway, let's crack on with the video. Oof. That car in the night looks like a black silhouette. Sexiest looking thing ever. Like, she ain't black no more. Check out the lineup, people. Looking mad out here, right? So, that's the daily driver. Oh, the alarm's just gone off. And these guys that fitted the system in there just. Starting to really annoy me. Like, what the hell? Anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, so that's the daily driver. This is the next LF Games giveaway car, which you can win for £9.99. Uh, this one would have just went live, a little bit dirty right now. If you want me to shoot a video, let me know. Definitely one of the best golf cars I've ever seen. As I've said plenty of times, I only choose cars that I like the look of. We've actually had to extend the competition on this one for a week. Massive apologies to everyone who thought the uh, competition ended. But we tried something new with this. So we usually do three to 4,000 entries. This one we did 5,000 with cheaper tickets and it's just turned into a bit of a marathon. So we've extended it slightly. Uh, but remember you can still win this one the tickets are nearly done so this is a bad boy m2 manual 450 horsepower front man intercooler it's got an upgraded fuel pump we've got my evo 6 here we've got my dodge hellcat we've got some very interesting stuff going on with this we've got the m5 we need to race this one against my mclaren but yeah i just thought i'd show you the cars right so passenger seat mclaren 720s laptop macbook air m1 chip editing hour and a half trip come on dean we need to go mate we're in a like serious rush Trying to do? Hey, man, you good? Nice to meet you, brother. You too, you too. We're in Cambridge Car Audio. It's our headquarters in Cambridge. So we've got our demo car here, which is Ford Mustang GT. Uh, it's got a full custom system in it. So we do everything from custom sound systems to electronics like Target Blue Eye that we're installing on your car today. Yeah, yeah. So we've got a BMW here, which has had a system in it, head unit on the Porsche. Um, the Hummer's pretty cool, actually. That's having a full PA system, so there's 10 speakers to go on the roof for that. We've got the boys from Evolve as well here, uh, they're having a training day to install Target Blue Eye and teach them how to do it. So these are the parts here, right? Yeah, so basically, in essence, in terms of, the, you've got two products going into your car. So you've got the laser track system, which is basically an automatic gate opening system. And that basically is a little two sensors that go on the front of the vehicle, and that is a fully automatic gate opener. So it's put up to your yard, yeah. fully so engaged just for the unit now so, so yeah yeah so your gates will literally automatically open straight away as you pull up so there's no buttons no fobs or anything like that on that nice, one nice nice um, and then you've got target blue eye which is another really really cool bit of kit and we've actually gone an extra mile for your car we've actually integrated the display which is this is the standard display mm -hmm. we've actually integrated that into your mclaren minnow yes so that's pretty Lovely. savage stuff so, so, so what, what, what's going to be on the mirror, like an indicator? Yeah, yeah so you basically got the, the lights here, the five lights, they're yeah. actually integrated into the mirror there, and then the buttons have been relocated to the bottom there. Oh, nice, nice. Basically, you control the system, and it basically tells you where all emergency service vehicles are marked and unmarked. Yeah. So it's about sort of 90-odd percent accurate. Um, we've just done another YouTube video on our YouTube channel, which explains the product in great detail. So it's about mm -hmm. a 10-minute video going through everything on it. But in essence, it goes from green to red as you're approaching an emergency service vehicle, which is pretty cool. And this is something that's a little bit more common in the US. USA and like Europe, right? Yeah, so it's a product that's actually based, manufactured in the Netherlands, but it's used all over the world. It's a really, really good bit of kit. I, I wouldn't, 
wouldn't want to drive a car without it. I've been using it for about seven years now. Very, very reliable, and I sort of rely on it as such, especially when driving. So it just well. gives you the edge, yeah? Like, yeah. is it a hard installation? It depends on the car, really. So it depends on the application, on how we're doing it, where we want stuff placed in the vehicle. Obviously, the mirror takes a bit more time than just a standard install of that display. Yeah. Uh, but generally, most installs can be done within a day. Sometimes goes into two days, but depending on depending on the car, really. These are like the plugs in disguise. Yes. Hashish. Happening. What are you saying, you right? Yeah, man, good. Training day, yeah? Yeah, done an install on our M5. Oh, so yeah. London distributor, yeah? Will be. Everyone in London, get in touch. <laughs> <laughs> so you're actually the... Yeah, I'm the distributor you... in the UK. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. Dutch plates for a reason. Came yeah, over yeah. from the Netherlands because I know the product yeah. from my Porsche dealership that I've worked at. I mean, 50% of all Porsches had yeah. this product. Right. And when I was talking with Imran, uh, about this product because I also work for I have a, I work for the guys from Auto Top Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was talking to Imran like Imran, do you know this product? And he said no. Well, I thought well, we have to step the game <laughs> Must up. Must have here. with these yeah. cars, man, because they're yeah. very fast cars. Yeah. You know? So I moved over here and uh, I'm trying to uh, yeah. get the product out. So you got right one now. in your car as yeah, well. Yeah. So what is it that it connects to, like there? Yeah. So uh, every emergency vehicle in the UK. They use a specific radio mm -hmm. and they go over the Tetra network and what this device does, it basically uh, receives the signals and it gives you warning that something might be in the area. Mm -hmm. And you're saying 10 to 15% of the time that could be turned off in the Yeah, out of my experience, I've had it twice right. in uh, two months here. So that, so yeah, when, so that what like, you mean is you've been driving? drive past an ambulance or a police car and it wouldn't go off. But right. like, all the other times it has been working perfectly here. So okay. really good product here. Yeah. So what would you say? You can fly around, like sort of. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's for safety. Safety. Yeah. safety. It's for yeah. safety. So yeah. like I've had multiple times that I saw an ambulance coming, so I could get out of the way quicker. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why I have it. Honestly, I've saved lives yeah. with this product. Save lives. Yeah. I, I hear you, man. Get this installed in your car, and you will save lives. Yeah. So this is your Mustang, yeah? Yeah. All this inside looks like the boot floor, but actually, what it is is a. Uh, custom custom built so this is all built out of fiberglass and actually sprayed the same color as the car so is these your subs here yeah yeah so two 10 inch subs mm -hmm. uh, and then the Audison thesis uh, quattro amplifier runs the front end uh, quattro runs the uh, thesis mids and rear speakers and then the one channel runs the two subs we've also integrated a speed camera detector into one of the vents so this is a 3d printed design then fiberglass to sort of finish it off so it looks wow, sort of OEM, doesn't car. it? Yeah. yeah, everything's designed to be OEM and then integrated into my mirror just like your one. Mm. Um, I've got my target blue eye. Sick. So that tells you exactly where all emergency service vehicles are marked and are marked, so exactly the same setup as you. That's the fitness in your mom, I'm trying to get rich. The clarity of the speakers is another level. Perfect amount of mates as well, right? Wow. I'm a nice guy. Look at my cup, I got a really tough enough. Yeah, that's right. That's it. I'm a spray there. Money running thin. I'm really banking on my love. You told me the price. This, the Can you whole, mention the price? Yeah, the whole setup's around about sort of the, around about sort of 30k mark. finished yeah all done man all done yeah. didn't like seeing my bumper off yeah pretty yeah, horrible yeah, it's pretty scary isn't it yeah, but yeah, we yeah. do it day in and day out so it's not too challenging for us but yeah no it's pretty scary a lot of customers close their eyes and start crying when they start <laughs> seeing that sort of stuff so this is actually your factory mirror as you can see there's two little buttons being installed right at the bottom yeah. and that basically allows you to control the system all in here and also laser track is also installed into here as well so if we put ignition on you can see the lights light up there mm -hmm. pretty sick so this is a startup procedure. So it goes from red to green, it's just booting up. And then this light down the middle is laser track. Sick. And that's gonna beep twice to tell you you've got two transponders at the front for your gate opener. And that's it basically. That's your two beeps. And then you've got on the mirror, you've got full highway facility there as well. So that's just permanently on in the car now, yeah? Basically, yeah, we have got an override switch mounted very discreetly in the vehicle just to kill it all uh, if you don't want it on. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's all it's all permanently there, uh, all built into your factory mirror. Plus, obviously, it mirror still works as a mirror. So is you... it a constant beat that I'm going to have in the car now? Whilst no, 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 no. So as you basically go, as you see it goes green to red, as you approach any emergency service vehicle marked or unmarked, it will light up and go from green to red. 
Uh, obviously, as you're on red, you need to be easing off and looking out for emergency service vehicles that okay. could be approaching. Right, got you. So it's a safe, it's a safety device in essence to, to help you stay out of the way of all emergency service vehicles. There's a, a company that actually emit Tetra uh, as part of their testing procedure for what mm -hmm. they what they use, and that's local to us. So we can use that as a little testing center just to see how the product performs and picks up. Yeah, They're okay. not always transmitting. Depends how many people are in the office, but yeah, yeah. there's a there's a strong likelihood that they are there. Should we do it now then? Yeah, yeah let's go. Yeah, let's do it. So we should. So as you okay. Can see, we've yeah. already got one. Left was it? Yeah, left in here. So as we as we approach in, we're basically hopefully going to start gradually going up. So it depends on how much tetra they're transmitting. Right. Uh, so two, and then if we take a right round the roundabout, so as we go, we're at two now. Head round here. It's dropped off. They're, they're not emitting like a normal yeah. emergency service vehicle, it just shows that the, the product is picking up gradually as you approach something and dropping off as it's supposed oh, yeah, to. Got you. To pull it into motorway mode, it was four, four beeps, yeah? Four, four. On the right, yeah? Yeah, so basically one, two, three, four, and then you've got flashing red. And that's so that's right. round town now, yeah? Uh, that's highway. Okay, highway that's now. Highway mode, yeah. Right. And then it was, I'm going to do a recording on my phone anyway, so I remember. And then you're saying I can turn the, the brightness down as well. You can't yeah. really see it anyway, to be fair. No, fast. so on the mirrors, because it's obviously got to go through a mirror. Yeah. On the normal display, it's very bright. Yeah. That's why yeah, I just yeah. have mine on full whack and you, it, dims it dims it down quite a bit, but. Yeah. All right, man. Sweet. so i think that is the end of the video people as always i hope you enjoyed it if you did hit a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel and loads more content coming with the 720s let me know if you want me to do a little pov drive on this tomcat gtx let me tell you this thing is a bad boy yeah look how we clean the floor it's a game changer anyone that's got a unit or any type of space you need yourself a tomcat yo We've got a GTX 3076R hybrids on here. I'm looking to modify the hell out of it. But Dean, you smashed it today. And yeah, I'm out, people.